Post game interview. Let's go down to the field to Joe Serbia. All right, down here with head coach John Riston. Uh, Good opponent, good first game, business as usual. You probably saw enough to make you happy and en- enough to keep your attention for another week. Hey, you know how hard it is to win ball games. We win 41 to 14. Uh, I was really proud of the way our guys came out. You know, we took over the second quarter and it kind of got got out of our, you know, got in our distance where we can go play and win, win a ball game. Uh, first impressions are always are, fans want to know. Uh, Malcolm Rubin first start as a quarterback, kind of a 50% pass through a touchdown down through a pick. Your first impressions? I'm so proud of Malcolm Rubin. He found a way to win a ball game, and uh, we're always going to get better, but I'm really proud of him. I thought he did a nice job. Defensively, a couple of big plays you give up, but other than that, other than the almost looks like miscommunications on both touchdowns, other than that, between those two, everything seemed to be business as usual. Well, you know, we built this program with defense, and defense did a heck of a job, and Coach Hughes, Coach Diamidi, Coach Haddon, you know, and Coach Fetters, we it was awesome putting those guys all together, and so we really played fast after a while. But it was it was nice for us to make those adjustments, and we made some adjustments that helped us on the sprint out. And, and last but not least, you got your number thirty. It's it's nice that he plays uh, on your team. <laughs> well, that's why we got the McDonald brothers back there. We're really happy with it, and those guys did a nice. The line did a nice shot too. You know, they did some different things, but we 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 knew if we were going to be patient with, it, we we're going to be able to pop some runs, and that's what we got. First impressions. You got to get ready to go to a place you know him well now in, in West Texas A&M. Hey, what, what a great opportunity. We're going to celebrate this for 24 hours and go to work. All right. John, congratulations. Thanks, Joe. Jim, back upstairs. All right. Joe Serby with our post-game interview with the head coach, John Riston. We thank him for doing that each and every week right here on Fox Sports Pueblo. Thunderwolves win it 41-14. to Back with our highlights right after this on Fox Sports Pueblo. Get fit now at... Welcome back to the Thunderbolt as we continue on in our post-game show here. Thunderwolves win it 41-14 to as we have to work our controls. We're kind of in our uh, little cramped booth here in the visiting radio booth. They gave our booth away to the TV guys this week, so we have to kind of manipulate our way around here. But let's get going on our highlight package. Thunderwolves got started early on in this ball game. They hit a big pass play on the right side from Ruben down to Duncan. It went all the way down to the one-yard line. From there, it would be Cameron McDonald scoring the touchdown. About a foot to go here on second down and goal. They stay in the eye formation. O'Malley is the fullback. They really like him. Long count. Ruben up under center. Takes the snap again up the middle. Cam into the end zone. Touchdown. And the Thunderwolves on the board on their first drive of the season. Extra point was good. That made it 7 and nothing. Thunderwolves. But... Central Washington would bounce back on their next drive, and they'd hit a big play to get right back in the ball game. Second and six for the Wildcats. Nelson takes the snap, looks left, now comes back right, goes down to slide. A man is wide open. He's got him. 25 20, 15 10, 5. It's a touchdown for Central Washington. A little throwback pattern, and it's Arthur Burns into the end zone for the touchdown for the Wildcats. So they come right back and answer the early score by the Thunderwolves. Good play there by Nelson. Extra point was good. It made it 7-7 to at that point. Thunderwolves then would make a, a long sustained march. They'd go 62 yards in 10 plays, but the drive would stall out, and they'd have to call on Greg O'Donnell. Ball on the right hash. It'll be about a 23-yard field goal attempt. Kick is on the way, and he did sneak it through that right upright. 14.50 to go here in the first half. Thunderwolves retake the lead. They lead it 10-7. to Thunderwolves with a 10-7 lead at that point. Their defense would go to work. They'd make the stop, and then it was time for the special teams to make a big play. Rivers back deep to receive the punt here. There, the clock's down to one. They do get it off. And, oh, they get through, they block the punt, and it's going to be a scoop and score time. Thunderwolves in. And Sam Singleton, the inside linebacker on special teams, gets the block. And it was Zach Young who made the scoop and score. It was Singleton on the block, but Zach Young picked it up and scored. The extra point was good. It made it 17-7 to at that point. Thunderwolves then would uh, get another short field, and this time it was Cameron McDonald with his second and four, especially here in the red zone where the field shrinks down. Boyd's in the slot to the left. They send motion. Uh, Duncan going in motion to the left side. 
Hand it off to McDonald around the left side. Gets a lead block from Dixon. And they clear. Touchdown! Oh, my. What a block by Gary Dixon. That's a nice little escort, Joe, when you're Cameron McDonald. You just put your hand on the hip of Dixon and just lead him in the lead block. And he cleared it out, and it was clear sailing. And it was indeed a great block by Dixon. The extra point was good. Made the score 24-7 to at that point. Thunderwolves then would uh, strike again late in the first half, this time with the big play through the passing game. Proven up under center. Fakes the draw play, sets in the pocket. He's got a man wide open. It's Duncan. He's in the clear. He's got it at the five. Touchdown, Thunderwolves! Jaron Duncan wide open. And you got to hand it to Malcolm Rubin there. He didn't panic. He made sure that Duncan could catch the ball. Sometimes you'll see a quarterback just airmail and throw it away, panic a little bit. But he was wide, wide open. Just threw a nice, easy little pass up there. Duncan able to adjust to it and make the grab and get into the end zone. That made the halftime score 31-7. to Thunderwolves then would come out in the second half. And again, it was the defense making a big play. Third down now and six for the Wildcats. They trail it 31-7 to here. Game was tied at seven apiece late in the first quarter. Thunderwolves put up 24 there in the second quarter. Crowd wants defense here. They send everyone. Here comes the blitz off the edge. They hit him. Pass is intercepted. Cross the 50. Uh, down the sideline. 30. 20. 10. To the goal line. Knocked out of bounds. At about the two, I believe. Ben Eska, he wants the touchdown, but he's not going to get it. He's... Ben Estica, he's bigger, he's stronger, and he's still just as fast for the Thunderwolves. Big return there, but he was knocked out at the one-yard line, but that would set up Cameron McDonald for his third score of the night. Well, he elected to try to fly it down the sideline, perhaps, instead of making a move to get inside. Here we go, second and goal from the one-yard line. Up the middle, McDonald, and he's to the goal line, and this time he is in for the touchdown. His third of the game. And indeed, it was the third touchdown of the game for Cameron McDonald. Made the score after the extra point, 38-7. to Central Washington, though, would bounce back. A little breakdown in coverage for the Thunderwolves. That's the old read option from the pistol. Trips to the left this time on second down and nine. Balls at the 32-yard line. Thunderwolves in their base defense, and they jump off, but they get back on side. Play action. Sets, looks down the middle, fires to the end zone. Oh, my. The man's wide open. Touchdown for the Wildcats. He couldn't have been more open. And it was McKinney on the touchdown. He did pick up a penalty on the play as an unsportsmanlike conduct spiked the football after he scored. The extra point was good. Made it 38-14. to Thunderwolves would get uh, one more chance to put some points on the board, and it was the kicker, Greg O'Donnell. It's going to be a 19-yard field goal attempt from the left hash mark. Here for the Thunderwolves. Greg O'Donnell in to try it. Ludwig is the center. Radabaugh is the holder. The kick is up. And it is right through there. It was a 19-yard field goal. And Greg O'Donnell finishes off the scoring. And the final score, 41-14. to We thank Tony Wright each and every week for compiling that highlight package. Good job by Tony. We'll come back after this timeout. We'll have the final numbers for you right after this on Fox Sports Pueblo. Want to save money on...